my name is Phil. I'm a developer evangelist here at PubNub, and today we are releasing a PubNub plugin for ImpactJS. ImpactJS, of course, is an HTML5 games framework, and it supports a large number of devices. So to get started here, I'm just going to create a blank folder anywhere in my hard drive. I called it blah, and I'm going to clone in the PubNub code, just git clone and our repo. Of course, if you've already done this, completely unnecessary step. So as you can see, it's cloning, and as soon as it's done, we're just going to go into it just like this, ls, and make sure it worked. Okay, now let's go into the folder, and the code that you need is in games, and then impact.js. So you'll see there, there's example game and plugins. Plugins is the generic plugin that you would use for whatever game you're making. An example game is just an example usage, and I'm going to be walking you through that today. So if we look under the lib directory there, you'll see there's just one folder called game. Now that's where your client side code will go. That's where you do most of your coding and impact. However, we need to put the impact code in there. Now, Impact isn't free. You have to get it from impactjs.com. I have it installed as user local lib impact. So I'm just going to symbolically link that over. Now, the level editing software that comes with Impact is called Weltmeister. Do the same for that. And I actually messed that up right there, so I'm just going to redo that uh, just like this. Okay, that's good. Now, we have all three folders there. We... If you, if you look, you'll see Game, Impact, and Weltmeister. We need one more thing, which is the Plugins folder. We're just going to recursively copy that up from a, from a folder level up. It's right there under Plugins. So just, just like that. So now we should have all the code. We're ready to actually run the node process, which hosts this. So if we do node server.js, by default, it's port 7777. And as it loads here, you'll see we have the puck in the middle, and either player's paddle on either on each side. So there's no one to play against right now. Uh, the node process is set up in our case just to look for a person to play. So we're just going to open a new tab here, just sort of play against ourselves, and you, and you'll see it'll find each other and start the game. So I'm going to play both sides here. And as you can see, whatever side the puck is closest to, it will have a ownership of that puck. That player will have ownership. And that comes with the plugin right out of the box. And that is to that makes it so that all collision detection happens local to the player whose entity is colliding with it. Now also you get all the basic PubNug functionality right out of the box, including auto updates of entities and stuff like that. So if you have any questions or feedback, we'd love to hear from you. You can reach us at, at PubNub on Twitter, and that's going to wrap it up for today. Have a good one.